Hi guys, welcome again to my channel, Cadiologist. Previously, we spoke about how to use the mouse in the software and select objects, how to set the units and draw a straight line, polyline, and X line. Also, you should be aware by now of the importance of using layers when creating a complex drawing, and you were introduced to the trim tool from Modify Panel. In this tutorial, we will continue learning more about the Draw Panel tools. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to view my latest. Rectangle command. To draw a rectangle, press the rectangle tool from the draw panel. Specify first corner and then the other corner to end the command. Press space to repeat the command again. Specify first corner. This time, in order to draw a rectangle, with specific dimensions, choose dimension from the command line by typing D and hit enter. Specify the length, let's say 50 mm and press space. Then specify the width, I will choose 20 mm and press enter. Then click anywhere in the drawing area with your mouse to specify the rectangle direction. Just remember that the rectangle shortcut is REC. Circle command. Click on circle tool from draw panel. Specify the center point. Then the circle radius. Let's say 15 mm. Press enter. Zoom out to see the full circle. Type C the circle shortcut and press enter. Specify the center point. This time to specify the circle diameter. Type D and press space. I will choose 15 mm again. Press space to repeat the circle command. Let's choose the option 2P standing for two points as shown in the command line. Before we specify any point, first I want to activate one of the O snap modes. O snap or object snap modes are drawing aids used in conjunction with other commands to help you draw accurately by allowing you to snap into specific object location when you are picking a point. Click on this little arrow from OSNAP tab and activate quadrant mode. Now I can snap any of the circle quadrant. I will specify the first endpoint of circle's diameter at this circle quadrant and the second endpoint at this circle quadrant. Press space to repeat the command again. This time let's draw a circle with three points. Specify first point at this quadrant mark, the second point at this quadrant mark, and specify the third point at this quadrant mark. Polygon command. Before we draw a polygon, I want to activate the ortho mode in order to constrain the cursor movement to the horizontal and vertical direction. To do that, click on ortho mode tab from the status bar or press F8 to turn it on or off. Click on this little arrow to choose the polygon tool. Enter number of sides. I will choose 8 sides and press space. Specify center of polygon and then you need to choose one of these options a polygon inscribed in a circle or circumscribed about circle. I will do both options and later we will see and understand the difference between them. Type I for the first option and press space. Specify circle radius, let's say 15 and press enter. Zoom out to see the full polygon. Type the polygon shortcut POL and press space. I will choose the same number of sides, A, then specify center of polygon, then type C for circumscribed about circle. I will just choose the same radius again. Now I will draw a circle for each polygon with the same radius and center points I used to draw the polygons in order to see practically the difference between the two options. 
There are different ways to do that, but I would do it using another OSNAP mode and XLINE as reference. Click on OSNAP tab and activate midpoint mode. Type XL for construction line and press enter. If I move the cursor over this line, we can see the midpoint mark, which will allow us to draw an X line exactly at the center of this line. Click anywhere close to the mark to draw a horizontal X line. Then repeat the same steps to draw a vertical X line. Again, these X lines will be used just as a reference to draw a circle exactly at the polygon center. In order to draw a circle exactly at the intersection point of both X lines, we need to activate the intersection mode from OSNAP tab. Click on this arrow again and check intersection. When you move the cursor close to the intersection point, you will see this mark. Just click the mark to specify the circle center point and then type 15 mm for the radius. After that, you can delete the X lines. Now, I will draw another circle for this polygon following the same steps. So the difference between these polygons is that the inscribed polygon in circle means that the polygon edges are bounded within the circle, while the circumscribed polygon edges surround the circle. Ellipse command. Click on ellipse tool from the draw panel. Specify center of ellipse. Specify endpoint of axis. You can choose the endpoint to be either in the horizontal or vertical direction. I will specify the endpoint to be 20 mm from the center in the horizontal direction. Specify distance to other axis. If you choose the first point to be in the horizontal direction, then the second point has to be in the vertical direction. I will specify the distance of the other axis to be 10 mm. Let's draw another ellipse using the shortcut this time. Type EL for ellipse and press space. Choose center and specify axis endpoint of ellipse this time to be in the vertical direction. Type 20 mm and press enter. Specify the other axis distance in the horizontal direction to be 10 mm from the center. We will explore now another ellipse option. This time choose arc. We want to specify the axis endpoint from ellipse center. Choose center and then specify the center of the elliptical arc. I will choose 18 mm for the first point and 9 mm for the second point. Here the command is not done yet. The command line is asking you to specify the start angle. Click here once and then move the cursor in this direction to draw three quarter of an ellipse or a half or even a quarter. Then click once to end the command. If I click on the arc we just drew, we can see that it's a part of an ellipse. So in this video, you learned about drawing rectangle, circle, polygon and ellipse. These simple tools along with the other tools from the draw panel I showed you guys in the previous tutorial are used to create any complex drawing. Feel free to go through this tutorial again in case it was too fast for you or you couldn't catch up. Of course you could always stop the video, apply the moves I talked about and play back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to stay updated.